guys, this is Julie, and welcome to my SoFab review series. This time, I'll be covering the recent Netflix anime, The Grim Variations, and joining me once again is none other than Rascal Entertainment. Hello! <laughs> so this anthology series focuses on the Grimm brothers and their sister, Charlotte, whom they get the inspiration from for the stories. However, these are not the fairy tales you know in the least, as these versions are twisted and reimagined and rated for mature audiences mm -hmm. and darker and stranger. <laughs> and before we start with that, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for um, upcoming reviews and more videos. Yes. Now, this originally came out in April of this year, and just getting around to watching it has six directors, actually. Oh my god, probably one for each story. <laughs> yeah, and we forgot to mention this is an anime series. Yes, it is. Animated by what studio? Yes, and you can definitely tell it in a little bit of the art style and the stories. Mm -hmm. So there are six stories, and they run between 32 and 46 minutes. And these are actually based on an original manga published by Kodansha mm -hmm. and illustrated by Koji Megami. Wow, I actually no, did not, not that know that. Me. <laughs> right, I actually did not know that. I thought it was just anime only. So we're going to tell you a little bit about each one, and you can decide whether or not this series is for you. So the first story covered is Cinderella, and the English voice actors are Abby Esperu, Sarah Kirby, Reva Burr, Dorothy Fawn, and Damon Mills. Right, and for this one, they sort of do a little bit of style of the what if thing like Marvel has with their superhero stories. This one kind of asks, well, what if Cinderella wasn't as nice as she seemed? And you know how the traditional story goes from the original fairy tale and the Disney version? Well, in here, Cinderella is pretty much okay being uh, stepped on by the stepsisters. She's very open to them and to the mom and everything. And they kind of don't know how to react. The mom's the the stepmother actually isn't all that bad. She's just kind of surprised. And the stepsisters say some things to her, but they don't even have to be mean to her because they kind of she kind of does whatever they want anyway. So they're kind of confused on how to react to her. And at first they actually don't mind it, and they can get along a little bit with her. But then as the story goes on. Strange things start to happen to some of the people that work there, and then you really start to see what Cinderella's really doing. And I don't think Japan likes Cinderella that much. <laughs> and spoilers here, she's really, really evil. Yes, she has twist. Evil, and she has an evil little female Chucky. Uh, yeah, who's that she so, talks to. Who's kind of freaked out by her because it kind of implies she's the one pulling the strings, but Cinderella's enjoying it so much that the doll's getting kind of scared of her. <laughs> so, for some of these, we're not going to tell you everything so right. it doesn't affect your experience of watching it. Right. So, the second one is Little Red Riding Hood. And the English voice dub cast for this, Jenny Yokobori. Brittany Lada, Ray Chase, Jameson Price, AJ Beckles, and Barbara Goodson. Yes. And this one asks what if Big Bad Wolf and Little Red Hood were not in the story it is, but said in the, I guess, slightly dystopian future and they were practically hunting each other. Now, to me, this was just a take on American Psycho, on the movie that starred Christian Bale. This is what this movie was definitely, well, I'm going to call the movie because of the link. This story was inspired by, mm -hmm. and it's pretty, pretty dark. Yeah, it's we very have to dark, skip a little bit of basic. it. If you've seen American Psycho, and I mean the original, not the second one, that is a joke. But the first one that was praised for it being different and creative during the time it came out. Then you're seeing Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah, pretty much. And it's yeah, very, it's, very dark. Now, yeah. Rascal's never seen that movie, but all I kept saying to her is, this is just American Psycho. With the fairy tale twist, right. yeah. So the third story cover is Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> this has a very long voice cast. I won't mention all of them. But if you are Christina V, Laura Post, Kaylee Mills, again Jenny Yokobori, Laura Stahl, Brittany Lauda, Anais Keones, and Abby Espiritu. 
Right. And this one asks, what if Hansel and Gretel's home wasn't what it seems? So, you know how the story usually goes. They get lost in the woods. They see the witch's house. They know it's the witch. Uh, they eat the candy and so on and so forth. Well, in here, doesn't exactly happen like that. In here, they're sort of in this place like Promised Neverland. They're supposed to learn, have a strict schedule. They play, they eat, they sleep, they help the chores. Then they're on loop, pretty much. When they disobey, they have to spend the night in the woods. No, we're not kidding. And in the woods, they end up finding this house. Not made of candy, but there's definitely candy and stuff in there. <laughs> and the witch actually isn't planning to eat them, but there is something else going on. It's really strange. That was the most bizarre one. Yeah. Yes, the outcome you didn't expect in the least. And I can say that that's one of the big pluses for the series that you can't figure out the ending. Yeah. The fourth story covers the elves and the shoemaker. And this one stars Kaiji Tang, of course, Haley Mills, Jason C. Miller, and Ann Yako doing the voices. So Kaiji Tang and Ann Yako together, <laughs> right? Again, Nobra and Gojo, right? So this one, yeah, this one was a really interesting take on the story. Yeah, this one asks, what if the shoemaker was an Arthur and the elf was some type of well, I don't know. You don't know. Natural being super, out. Right. And this one is if the bean wrote the story for the writer instead of shoes, replaced the shoes with books. And it becomes a way more of a psychological type episode. This one has so many hints about the ending. So, I'd like to give you a little heads up. Pay close attention. The first time we watched it, we didn't. Then I found out it was voiced by Kaji Tang. Uh, the main character and we went back because we had missed something and then we were watching it and it's like oh my gosh how did we miss this mm -hmm. and the entire episode itself is nothing but hints yeah. about the ending and again the ending is very surprising to me this is one of the three best ones of the series right the elves and the shoemaker along with Cinderella right the next story is called Bremen, the... I think Musicians of Bremen. And the English voice cast for this is Anais Keone, Zalegra Clark, Tiana Camacho, and Zanthi Cohen. Right. Now this one was yet another very stark difference in the tone. This one has what if the animal musicians were actually an all-female gang getting revenge on the bandits in the Wild West. So if you guys like furries and furry stories and anime, then this is for you. Because they're all human here. It was a little too graphic, a little too sexual and dark yeah. all at the same time. To even We yeah. didn't feel comfortable watching this together, so less than five minutes we turned this, this one off. Right. But it may be for you if you've seen it and... It ends up not being like it is in the beginning. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. And the final story covered is the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Yes. And the English voice cast for this is Susie Young, Young Gay, and Ace Kianis, and Jill Ramess. Right. And this one asks, what if the Pied Piper wasn't after the rats or the children of the town? And uh -huh. this one goes in an entirely different direction, especially when you get towards the end. You don't know what the Piper is there for because really the town has no infestation problem. But it is under some type of undercover dictatorship, especially when you're dealing with the women of the town. This one is also really, really strange, really, really dark, and the female protagonist is Nothing like you expect her That's to be. That's true. And you definitely can't guess the ending. At the beginning of each story, you have the Grimm Brothers and Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And they kind of give you an introduction of what it's about. They don't talk to you. They talk to each right. other. Right. conversation. And you find out what the story is kind of going to be based on. Yeah. But the premise in the beginning, Charlotte says, what if none of the stories had a happy ending? Pretty much. And none of these stories do. An ironic part is that when you are on these openings, it has this pretty interesting watercolor type animation. Like the and, and then when you get to the stories, 
they're the, in the storybook format when you're in the real world they're in the storybook format and then the stories are in the anime regular format so i kind of like they swished it around and gave you sense of everything being backwards like the stories it's like this is the thing i think disney said they were trying to do doing watercolor watercolor type animation uh i think they i think this anime did it for you <laughs> definitely so if you're looking to watch something different that is anime based this is for you the three we think are the best are cinderella the elves and the shoemaker and believe it or not the pied piper of hamlin mm -hmm. just didn't see the ending coming for right. any of these and I like being surprised, and for every story that we did watch, five out of six, we were definitely surprised. And even though we didn't watch the Bremen one, we were surprised at how it started yep, out. Yeah, definitely. So if you've seen the Grimm variations, let us know in the comments. How did you like it? Which were your favorites? Do you recommend it, or is it something you think you should pass on? Tell us what you think. If you haven't seen it, it's an original net animation exclusive to Netflix. Give it a watch, come back, tell us what you think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the case bell dates on future videos, especially reviews. And thank you so much for joining us again, Rascal. As always, guys, oh, you're welcome. we really appreciate you. We're grateful for you. And please feel free to share this video. It helps out my channel a lot. And last but not least, be sure to visit Rascal's channel for mm -hmm. lots of amazing content. Thank you. I'm Rascal. And I'm Julie. Have a fantastic day. Continue to be happy, healthy, whole and also wonderful. See you next time.